In this video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be one of the best blitzes in Madden 23 right now. It's a new blitz out of 146. I think that this blitz is absolutely incredible, specifically against the Gun Bunch meta, which is by far the most popular offense in the game this year. Now, if you want to learn my entire Dime 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates. We just put a one hour update in for the Dime 146. Uh, today. So if you want to check that out, the link is down in the description below. Now I'm in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook and what makes 146 so good, there, I think there's several things, but one of the things that makes this formation super effective is the fact that we can get really good personnel in the field. We can put safeties at linebacker and we can put fast linebackers down at defensive end. Technically, they are linebackers in this defense, but um, we're going to use Devin White here, and we're going to use Levante David. Now, Madden, it's really important, especially when you're running a blitz. Most blitzes work better when you have fast players that the position that you're trying to get free. That's why we're putting Devin White at the left defensive end position. Now, the play we're going to call to run this is cover to sink, and literally that's all you have to do is call this play, and I want to show you what's going to happen basically our setup is really simple you're just going to when you come out at the line of scrimmage you're going to hit r1 twice so i'm just going to hit r1 twice and then i'm going to stand about right here and what you're going to notice is this blitz is going to absolutely scream at the quarterback literally a one-step setup and you're going to get pressure uh with this defense i think that the name of the game in madden 23 is to have a defense that can get really simple and easy pressure without having to send a lot of people, right? So let's go ahead and drop this uh, linebacker on the right side, who's Levante David with Lurker. You could put Lawrence Taylor with Pickard there. You could put Derek Brooks there, right? You could put him in coverage every single time. So we're only sending three people. It's gonna be really difficult to beat this defense. And what you're gonna notice is yet again, we're gonna get that pressure looping around just like that. Now, what we cover in the actual ebook update is how to get this pressure to be really consistent even if your opponent is going to block a running back, I will say that a blocked running back does not always does not always uh, pick this blitz up. So I'm going to block my running back here. You're going to notice here he's still going to have a really good chance, as you saw right there, at coming in completely free. If we can get the running back to kind of be occupied by our user, this blitz becomes, I think, the best bunch defense in the game because it's so hard, in my opinion, especially if you can get good with your adjustments and you can man up the right players. It makes it really, really difficult for your opponent to be able to beat this blitz consistently so you see we do something like this maybe we drop some zones whatever adjust however you want to um, but what you're going to notice here now they're going to block the running back and you see again the running back stepped up he got a quick shed animation and he was able to get uh, pressure on the quarterback now, it wasn't able to take him down but he was able to get the pressure on the quarterback now what this is going to do what this whole defense is going to do is it's going to funnel the offense into specific things that they have to do to counter you for example, one of the things they're going to have to do is they are going to have to block their running back. So if I have to block my running back uh, pretty much every single time to pick up this blitz, then you're going to notice that you have some now skills at your disposal. One of the things that you can do because they're blocking their running back every play to pick this up, then you're going to be able to say, okay, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to use these guys in coverage. So for example, one of my favorite things to do is to take the um, slot corner and kind of basically act like I'm blitzing, but not blitz. So we're going to put that solo wide receiver corner in a third. We're going to put this guy here in a man coverage on that receiver. Notice that nobody's moving. Notice that there's not really a tell that we're doing all of these adjustments. And then we can do whatever we want to the bunch side, right? We could basically roll this into a really effective shed defense, something like this. And you're going to be able to stop, you know, your opponent's best options, which is the solo receiver and the slot receiver this year at a bunch, I think are the best players on the field so now they're blocking six and we're dropping i think we're dropping eight people back into coverage as you can see it's really hard to consistently beat this defense so this defense when you combine zone coverage man coverage when you combine everything all together it makes this defense really 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 effective and so you know this is a simple blitz that we can do that you can actually i'm pretty sure you can only you, you might only need to send like two people to get the pressure you see here that's how good of a defense 146 is right there the pressure didn't work great for us but we can then send the spy when they have to step up into the pocket one of the things that people will do 
uh, to counter 146 and Dollar's style of defenses this year is they will go ahead and step up into the pocket. But what you'll see here is we're going to have the spy. So now when they step up, I just send the spy and we're able to get the stop. So this is a really good defense. I'd encourage you to try this out if you struggle uh, defending the gun bunch offensive meta. If you want to learn my entire 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. We just dropped a massive update in that ebook today. We also just dropped our dollar, uh, a completely redone version of the dollar ebook. We're dropping our nickel 33 ebook later tonight, and then we'll be dropping the uh, a, a brand new 146 ebook next week for you guys as well. So if you want to get access to all of that material make sure you're in the patreon ten dollars gets access to everything that we have over there so i'd really encourage you to consider make uh consider heading over there and joining if you want to do that the link is in the description below so you just got to head down there click that link go get signed up and you'll be able to get access to literally everything within about five minutes uh so thanks for your time hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to sign up for the patreon head down to the description of the video and click the link down below